This is a Big Facts Network exclusive. Live from the Culture Lab, it's time for Big Facts, Big Bank, DJ Screen Baby Jade, and today is up there the podcast. The creator of that, Big Loon, is here on Big yeah. Facts. What's up, my brother? You good? You good? good? Bro, how are you? I'm great. Now, before we even get all deep in the conversation, I know this is going to be one of them classic conversations, man. Uh, as four successful podcasters, I must say, this this podcast thing is all right, right? Man, beautiful. I think we should yeah. clap it up for yeah. podcasters, you know what I'm saying? Four successful podcasters from the South up in here Thanks. about to have a conversation, you beautiful. know what I'm saying? Beautiful. Now, what, what, what's on your mind? What's on your heart today, my brother? You know, whatever, wherever y'all want to go with it, me and Bank and y'all just heard me speak about uh, we need to build media in the South. Mm. I think the rappers need to pay us a little bit more attention. Mm. I think um, up north is kind of biting into a lot of the southern artists. When they drop an album, they tend to run up north mm. to promote it before coming to Big Facts, before coming to It's Up Their Podcast. And I just don't think that favor will be returned if the shoe was on the other foot. So mm. I celebrate us being in the south. And I salute, uh, I think we should both salute Lil Baby because he came to Big Facts a couple times and yes. was yes. up there also. Yeah, shout out Dominique. That's First, you know what I'm yeah. saying? First, so salute yeah. Lil salute Baby for that. Baby. And I a thousand percent agree. Yes. And it's not that we got love for everybody, but it's right. just that, hey, you should go home first. It's prioritizing prioritizing your, your avenues because in the event that this thing burns down, we will be the only one speaking on your behalf. Mm. Right. Say right. Um, right. Those there. guys will pay more attention to, and we could get into it. For me, you know, I celebrate Jay, I celebrate Diddy, I celebrate 50, um, but I also celebrate Birdman, I celebrate P, I celebrate Prince, I celebrate, mm. you dig what I'm yeah. saying? I think those conversations have to merge and we got to be at the head of that. I like that. Right. Mm -hmm. I like that. I like that. What was you doing before, before, before the media and the podcast and stuff? I got a, um, a history and a few different things. Okay. Or well, what can you speak about, or you know, whatever you want to speak. I've about. I've written music, okay, successful music. Um, I've been involved with a few things. My hands is in real estate. Mm. Um, back home, I have transitional homes where when people get out of jail or rehab or something like that, and they need somewhere to go court order, where the state provides them housing. Um, mm. I have two of those in my city. Nice. Um, I got a tour bus. You know what I'm saying? I got. Um, a couple of box trucks. So I got a few things going on in my town, but I've just been a hustler all my life, you know, mm -hmm. and that's just what it been for me. And what made you decide to get behind the mic and just chop it with people and talk, and or just chop it by yourself and talk about cultural topics? What was the, what was that moment? I think people like us, bro, have a obligation to over communicate. Mm. You know, those of us that have found the light switch in the dark room to be able to provide our families with something and um, change our lives for the better. I think we have an obligation to kind of give marching orders, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And so when I um, first started, that was my thinking. Like, I would hear a lot of talking in the game and say, yo, they misrepresenting what I'm seeing. I don't see what they seeing. Mm -hmm. What is that? Why are they positioning that like that? That's before I knew about the business side of this mm -hmm. thing. But I thought everybody was speaking from their hearts and they truly believed some of the things that they were saying and I was confused. And because I have I have to lead this world to my little boys, I want to put some game next to some of this lame shit you see going on. Mm. You know, and that was my thing. Mm. That's what it is. And so did, did anybody inspire that? Like was you watching some other podcasts or something else that inspired that or you just Well, well I watched the entire game. I watch everything. Whites Comedians, the, the the true crime. He said white. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you did. Because I need to know the market. You yeah. Know? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you said Joe Rogan, basically. I watch Joe Rogan. I watch. And, and all, no, no, no. Right. Not just Rogan. Not just I'm Rogan. talking about, talking I know about the field, bro. Yeah. Okay. Like, I know the entire field. It, this is not an accident I'm here without a co-host, right? So you like the ball right. player in the league that know all the players. And I they... know what's going on, what they making, what they lying about, mm. what it's worth, even if they ain't getting what it's worth. Mm. I'm familiar with the analytics of this thing. Okay. Right. Okay. You know, so uh, that's what it is, bro. Yeah. More but a lot of people, I want to be clear. A lot of people inspired it. Like you say, I look at Charlemagne, of course. Salute. Yeah. You know, he, he, yeah, he, shout out to Charlemagne. Yeah, shout out to Charlemagne. Did a lot for me. Um, but I even watched Joe Budden. I've watched mm -hmm. um, Joe Rogan. I've mm -hmm. watched 
anybody that's moving around and making money with this thing. Mm -hmm. If yeah. you made some money with this thing here, I know something about whatever you was doing. Mm -hmm. That was my thing. I came in for the money. I ain't come to play. What what what? So so, what's your are there are there podcasts or media outlets that respectfully you say I could just do it out? I don't really stand for what they. Yeah, it's a bunch of those. Yeah, yeah, it's a bunch of those. Um, I think a lot of those people are behind some of the narratives we see now. You know, I'm interesting loud about perspective. It. Yeah, and, and for me, I'm loud about whatever because I don't need no relationship with nobody. I came in like that, so um, I don't mind saying people names. You know, I don't mind addressing folks or handling what come with that. But, yeah, it's a lot of people I can do without. You mm -hmm. know, I know I've been speaking about media so much, but I feel like I be sometimes confused in the markets. And I look at America and I say the, the best way to get through to people is to categorize things. Mm -hmm. So I got to figure out a way to categorize what it is these suckers doing so I can put a label on it. What's the most sucker shit you done seen Just getting in the way. These niggas be in the way, bro. You know, of the money. See, I think they just, the super fan has been birthed and these niggas got microphones. So the super fan nigga is critical of things that's affecting the business in a way that I know he cognizant of, but the fans think he's still speaking from like a genuine place. But some of these dudes are trying to affect these guys' business, bro. I can't respect that. When a nigga undercut your money, I so can't like respect it. I can't respect it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you like, do you okay, so without I don't want I don't really like I said want to call like right. names or whatever, but in the in the in the public recently, um there's been a rapper who has been accused of some shit, but there was an underlying narrative that was being pushed at the same time with these accusations. Who? And what? Yeah, okay, I, I, like, I, 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 I want to raise my hand. We all have to, because I'll be involved too. Today, today no, let's I, call names. Today, let's call names. I'm just, okay, that's my fault. Bro, I'm we got to give it up in the South like this. Yeah, yeah fuck yeah. this. Okay, I'm talking, I'm talking about this, all the shit that's going on with Meek, right? Right. Okay, you know how like they tried to come out like with the gay shit or whatever when he was trying to drop his album and, you know, this and that, but he was already like also going through like some other shit. So like he said, he said it himself, like he brought it to the attention that they're trying to push this narrative of him possibly behind closed doors, having done some shit or whatever to affect what he has going on. Like Loon said with his business and I'm yeah. with Loon on that. That's personally like some bullshit and some like some pussy shit because at the end of the day, if you don't like a nigga, don't like the nigga. Mm -hmm. If you have a problem with something that he's yeah, done, I have a problem it. with what this nigga has done, right, but I don't agree. try to stand behind closed doors and do some shit that's going to affect his character yeah. and yeah. knowing that his character Without is what his facts. business stands Without on. Facts. Facts. Exactly. No, that's sure. some bullshit. That's some pussy shit. Who, that's bullshit. Who, who, who are the people, I guess... That's what some, I'm just thinking about the comments. The comments are like, well, who is the people pushing this agenda? Like, who are they? <laughs> some, sometimes it's, some, saying, who are they? Who, is they? who are Check they? This out. They yeah. are the people the that internet. are trying to prevent him from the releasing internet. music. The internet and the as internet a whole. Too, yeah. The internet, you but can't then somebody the internet, have to, Then somebody have to create and start the narrative. Like, yes, if, I, if I start a rumor, you know I got to tell somebody that rumor. about them, like, not <laughs> wanting him to release music. And he got, like, some other shit going on, but it's, the the it's some very powerful people behind the reason why he hasn't been able to release so music. So you said nigga using a PR team to destroy a nigga. It's not even a PR team. It's bigger than PR teams. It's it's like real machines behind this shit that are just like okay, you know how like niggas 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 amp up their Spotify numbers with the bots and the machines and the the people in the place and this and that blah blah blah. Mm. It's the same shit used that's used to ramp up these niggas numbers. That's ramped up to bring a nigga down and destroy a nigga too at the same time. Mm. So basically what you saying is they putting out some gay shit on me to to just and it could just be a hater. Yeah. I'm sure okay. it's a hater. Some they could that's be what a hater. Be so, some, yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. She's saying like, this is what I'm gathering. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm thinking Jay's saying like it could be a motherfucker somewhere that hate me, right? Yes. 
all they had to do was start it. Yeah. And the internet so cold, they go find shit to, to back up a lie. Yeah. This how fucked up this shit is. It's the a facade. Inter- yeah, the internet know how to paint a picture anything. That's why you can't get caught out there doing no questionable shit. But yeah. it's but you know even, what I'm saying? But, you can't get caught out there doing no questionable shit because you only add up to what the internet know of you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So if a nigga just say means if a nigga say they draw a narrative of say thug. Thug is this gangster, this gangster, but that's all you've been saying in your music. That's all you've been doing. You got niggas around. Blah, blah, blah. So we go back on the internet to the rem- to the memory, not the memory of I see thug out. I know this nigga's a good nigga. This nigga's a kid, really, mm-hmm. at heart. Mm. I know this. Like this yeah. is a good nigga all the way around. But if I look at the internet and 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 look at the internet as my memory, because that's what we do. We look at the internet as our memory. Like, oh, I remember when he did. Instead of judging the person off when you met that person, how that well, person check really this is. Out. For, but for, let me let me. I'm ahead, gonna cut you off long. But speaking on meat situations specifically, my thing is is like, okay, what else could have been said about him that would. Nothing. That would other than some gay shit. Yeah, nothing. That would fucking nothing. Cause they know him. he ain't told because he already done got out. Yes. Yes. Folk, it would have. Yes. And then, like, like you that. said, with the memory, with the internet and the memory shit, it ain't even like you said a nigga can't be out here doing questionable shit. But it ain't even got to be something questionable. He's in a picture with a nigga that fucking had his own allegations or whatever's going on with that shit. But that and just that one picture. Though. That's what make it questionable to the internet. I ain't saying me. I'm not questioning. I yeah, yeah. You. No, no. I fuck with me. I met this nigga plenty of numerous times. Yeah, a good nigga. Yeah. yeah. College on Instagram. We talked to each other in DMs and shit. I fuck with me. Yeah, but me what cool. I'm saying is, it's, it's still, once, it's just like, it's just like a Rico. Once your ass get caught up in that shit, you caught up in it. The shit Puff going through, any nigga that have been around him caught up in that. Mm. But here, here's, the, here's what's happening too, though, right? So there's a lot that we just unpack. When we deal with Thug, I want to deal with that separate from the Meek Mill thing. Yeah. Oh, no, it's totally separate. Because, be, and the reason I want to do that is because I believe the judicial system has a responsibility to view things totally. Yeah. Right? right. I, I can't blame Unbiased. Twitter. Right. Yeah. I can't blame right. Twitter for picking things yeah. and, and painting mm-hmm. a narrative, but for the judicial system to come and grab a guy and act like they don't see all the giving back or act like they don't see some of the other things that mm-hmm. represent the or other Or act side. like they don't see all the corrupt shit that the other, that the fucking other side of this same judicial system has done is ludicrous. Exactly. It's ridiculous. So so that's one, but for the hater thing, I, I truly believe there's a couple things happening. There's a, there's a site called Reddit, right? Yeah, yeah. And what I've noticed, because again, I study the game. So right. what I've noticed is on Reddit, there's a lot of narratives. Mm-hmm. And what, what, what you see happening is these people with these bigger platforms are going on there and grabbing these narratives and bringing them out. Now, why is that important? Mm-hmm. Because it comes with a built-in audience. Mm-hmm. It comes with, you're speaking for these people who yeah. are living in this, yeah. I, I'm going to call this the dead sea. Mm-hmm. Right. All this shit, this this shit they doing is messy shit. This is the dead sea. Mm-hmm. Don't nothing out of here really serve nobody. Right. You see what I'm saying? It's just bullshit. So they coming and they speaking for these Reddit pages and then it's catching legs quickly because that's what they do. They live mm-hmm. on the internet. And, mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what we saying on Reddit. Yeah, mm-hmm. repost that. That's why these memes are. Yeah. Reddit is just like Wikipedia. Right. I so it that. ain't it ain't that the check this out. It ain't that these dudes are ahead of the narratives, right? They're amplifying the narratives and then the, the, they're catching up with the narratives. Yeah. These guys are. Yeah, yeah. 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 They, oh, they, these down. dudes are not crafty and putting this stuff up like some of the names I hear Meek Mill. That they that they twist his name to. Yeah. That's Twitter. That's Reddit. And but, that shit is offensive that they're playing with his name yeah, after everything that offensive. this nigga has been through and built if you ain't without been through any nothing. fucking black and white. Like, if you don't have proof of some shit, you can't, you can't, you shouldn't, man, that shit is crazy. Like, you shouldn't be able to fucking even have a voice without proof. And and you have a responsibility when you have a platform. Yes, man. So yes. for these individuals yes. right that there. That type shit to make a nigga crash out. That's what I'm saying. Oh, God. That's it. That's what the nigga be trying to do. They be and trying that's to make the a nigga trick. crash. That's the trick. That's the trick. Because that type shit to make a nigga want to, like, oh, you believe that? But th- this is how you beat it. <laughs> yeah, and, like... and, and listen, for us, I believe, especially for us in the South, we got we to gotta become more powerful because 
what I truly believe has to happen. We cannot beat these guys. Okay, let, let me frame this. You street rapper guys whose business is being affected by the revenge of the nerds, right? What happens is when they come out, they got 20 other YouTube dudes that, that cover this shit. They got 20 meme pages, 20 Twitter pages. The street niggas just sitting over here like, mm. and the narratives run off. Yeah. But why would I come out speaking on niggas' behalf when y'all niggas go do press, you don't come holler at us? Right. So why would I come put my brand and platform in front of some of these niggas have got powerful people that associate with them and all of these different narratives, they going to, soon I jump out and say, yo, man, y'all nigga, da, 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 they going to attack me and you ain't even gave me no love in my business and I'm defending Preach your help business. balance the shit out. Preach yeah. Facts. yeah. Preach so you got to help, we got to help each other. These artists from the South sit around and like, the internet, the internet, the internet, yeah, it's niggas like us that got powerful platform. Mm. But why would I put my business out when you niggas is running around and that's who you're giving your exclusives to? Right. Yeah. Speaking facts. Uh, fuck me, nigga. I don't want to talk to a lot of you. That's what I'm saying. Being but, it's really business, my niggas. but it's business, but it's business, Shit, But the thing about it, I feel like this: once you become the star of your brand, it don't even matter who it you don't. talk to. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Fuck, fucking, fuck talking to. Them. Right. Like, they, most niggas gonna come on the line. I like getting that shit from the source of the people that's telling the truth and being their authentic self. A nigga with a nigga that's been media trained, and I don't want to talk to them. Yeah, man. you don't see them niggas on my shit. Yeah, I don't even know how them niggas get in touch with niggas. Bro, you can go look at the past episode. They say this in the comments. And I, you know, I pick up on comments. You know, I used to didn't read comments because it used to piss me off. But now I read comments and better myself off the hate. Yeah. Like niggas be like, bro, you can tell them bank face when he ain't fucking with a guest. And I go back and look at some shit I know I wouldn't fuck with be like, I wasn't fucking with that shit. <laughs> I can't blame you, you for yeah. that. I can't blame you for that. So you I ain't no even actor. Really do that shit. Yeah, but I'm saying at some point you got to balance that with you. You creating a business, and it is a business, and you is bank, and you need to throw your weight around. And Jay got to throw a weight around, and Scream got to throw your weight around, right? Because I'm throwing mine around. You don't see me playing nowhere. You don't see me hanging nowhere. You don't see me doing nothing, and you see me by myself. Right. This ain't one of them games that's being played. You see what I'm saying? So I'm telling y'all got to, because this is the South. All these right. rap niggas come from the South. Right. Right. I'm confused. And then we not do, but we bosses. Nigga make six figures off audio without a video touching anything. So it's important for niggas to know that you want me to risk my business and do what for what? For who? Make it Speaking make sense. Fact. Speaking well, facts. Yeah, make you it make facts. sense. Well, and I love everybody. It gotta be reciprocated though. But it yeah. but 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 what happens is we gotta be intentional with putting people in position that got YouTube pages, mean pages. Everybody can't be in front of these cameras. Right. You dig what I'm saying? Some of the people we pull in, how many followers you got? I wanna pay you every month now. You part of our squad. Some go down, same way academics and them shoot out and no jumper posted and say cheese post. That shit go, bam, boom. 20 different blogs got it. <laughs> bam, boom. This bro. ain't by coincidence, though, no, right? This, this shit is spread They done built a little business with this. They yeah. Done they shoot, nah, that game again, these folks. They done built a little business with this. Mm. Yeah. This ain't by cool. That's why them narratives. And for me, I, I I be feeling bad, but I know it's a business. And I be in memes with the top dogs telling me, yo, your image is so raw. Do that for what? Mm. What, what, what the conversation with Umar was about? Uh, we talked about Dion. Uh, Sanders? Yeah. Okay. What you about know, Dion? his approach to Dion Sanders, I think, was a little overzealous. What was his um, approach? He basically said Dion sold out for taking the opportunity to, to Colorado. Colorado. Yeah, my position was, yo, at some point, you you your interest is yourself self sustain, right? I'll mm -hmm. bring you a plate after we. I ain't saying I ain't saying you ain't gonna eat. It ain't gonna be before my people though. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? If you can't respect that, you got to get away from it. Mm -hmm. Period. So y'all was able to agree on things and agree to disagree, which yeah, because, is the most important thing. Because when you when you had these conversations, they don't get disrespectful when you understand how to navigate these conversations. Right. Mm -hmm. So we had a great conversation um, about that, about BBLs, like about a, about a whole bunch of shit, bro. Like it was dope, man. It sold out, 
like 500 people was there. You know what I'm saying? Big stage. It was dope, man. I put it on by myself. So that's my thing is some of these guys that had these strong point of views. Uh, when we do this up there podcast live, I want you to clarify some of that shit. And I know how to dance. So it's interesting every time. Who some nigga you feel like just putting out the wrong message? Like, man, that nigga need to erase his shit. I don't know if anyone has a wrong message 100%. You know what I mean? But a lot of these niggas' approaches is wrong. You know what I mean? And I think your approach... Wrong in your opinion or wrong morally? Morally. Like who? Academics. Uh, I just had a conversation with No Jumper yesterday. You know, Adam. because... Yeah. He, you know, because they loose with their words on this internet. Not, sometimes they, I got to adjust. You know, I was talking to you about that last time where I got to say they just talking long. They just talking. But I'm saying it's business long. They fucking the business up. I don't want these niggas to act like they don't understand it's business when they being paid to post things that affect the business. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. They can't trick me to believe that. You dig? Like, oh, what? It's just my opinion. Oh, on that same platform, you get paid to spread narratives and, and get paid to help with buzzes and certain things from labels. Mm. I don't understand how it's even confusing. Mm. My only thing is I feel like everybody got their own perspective. I'm going to keep bringing that back. So right. at the end of the day, the way they're putting out their perspective and getting paid, I respect it to a certain degree because I wasn't raised how they were raised. I'm, I don't have the same morals as them. They could look at things that I say and do as morally wrong because we don't have the same morals. And once I learned that, bro, that shit changed me. I'm gonna keep saying that. Everybody don't have the same morals, you know what I'm saying? Not to say that their morals are less than mine or mine are less than theirs, that's just how they are. Yeah, but I just, I feel, just to piggyback off of what you said, and I'm totally with that, and I totally agree, but I just feel like, I don't know if I could be saying the same shit Luna is saying or not, he can stop me if I'm wrong, but I just feel like, like you said, when you're dealing with people whose platform's purpose is to basically, for lack of a better way to put it, make or break a nigga, and you're using your platform primarily to break a nigga to try to further your platform, I feel like that's wrong. Wrong to you. I, if I came for the money, I'm going to feed my family. That, that's what, that's I was what about I'm to doing. Say. I, I came think, for the money. This was this is I, a missing void. I think if I don't do it, somebody else going to do it. Channel but, 5, Channel 2, Channel 11 going to do it. I think that's how niggas looking at it. Like, these folk doing the same shit. My bad screen. These yeah. folk doing the same shit, pushing out the same shit. So we mad at, and I'm not saying I'm with it or against it. What I'm saying, we mad at a nigga for doing the same shit that everybody else doing. The new paper, the, the, I'm just it's saying. The same nah, thing but what like, I'm saying, it's, it's, like it's, it's all about the spin. Like, you can put out information on your platform. It's ignoring and, the responsibility yes, that you have Yes, and report the news. You can platform. report the current events. Just like, just like if fucking... If goddamn Oprah got beat up. Okay, cool. If Oprah got beat up and punched out, Oprah got beat up and punched out. But adding a whole bunch of extra shit, like Oprah got beat up and punched out. Now she's getting ready to go broke and, and you know what I'm saying, this and that, all this other bullshit. You can't tell me it. how to create my narrative and make this shit that is juicy. True. But here's so his. I can get paid. You can't tell me what to do because this is marketing. At the end of the day, it's all internet. To some people, but this if shit it's is not fake. True, oh, let me say this. But to some people, the internet is fake, mm -hmm. and they're just only here for the money. Mm -hmm. It's on you if you're taking this shit literal. That's what I'm saying. To you some gotta, niggas, it feel to to who y'all just name Adam and 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 well, academic, no academic, academic. Academic. whoever, whoever. All whoever. Them niggas, the, the to some of them niggas, the internet is fake. I don't give a fuck how y'all feel about me. I'm here to get the money. I don't give a fuck who it affect. Some niggas feel like. And that. here's the thing: I can respect that, and that's why when I when I look at the business. I'm saying either these either these rap guys are because I come from you got to be oh my god the level of thinking you got to have to survive and when I see that they letting this kind of shit happen I'm saying all right put it in perspective let's say academics and Meek Mill let's deal with this with numbers attached to it so people can really get a perspective as to what this looks like academics is someone that is monetized on every single platform his name is on meaning. If don't nobody send him a dollar, those platforms pay him for what he posts and attraction attached to whatever he posts, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So let's say him and Meek Mill has a thing. He, he Him and Meek Mill goes at it. 
He tweets McMill. Say he makes $5,000 off a couple tweets just from Twitter. Just from that day, him and Meek Mill back for him. That's five grand. Set that to the side. Mm -hmm. He goes on YouTube and goes live for five or six hours and talk about Meek Mill the entire time. Let's give him a low number and say he makes $7,000, 7500 for that for that time. Yeah. That's just... You know what I'm saying? That's a low yeah. number, right? So I'm going to put you on some game, though. But here, here's what's important. So now, listen. After that six hours, guess what he do then does? He repurposed that six hours worth of content to now generate another four or five million views. That's another 40 grand, 50 grand. That's a hundred thousand dollar day mm -hmm. going against a nigga who I ain't gonna get an interview with anyway. Thank you. You can't tell you another get, nigga how to work so, their motherfucking move. It's it, all so, I'm saying. So here's the issue though. It's just us. Mm -hmm. We gotta stop nah. going for that move, going and 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 dig it and I. Like you said, you say him and Meek Mill, they into it or something? Whatever happened with them, yeah. All right, cool. We got to stop giving that type of power to people. You can't take we, it from them. But you, you the, giving he, it to he them got an audience. Engaging. Nah, this is what these guys got to do. They got to quit being selfish and spend some money on building niggas like us up, build big facts up. You got to build shit up that's going to have the narrative that represents the other side just as loud as the narrative on that side. Because I'm not going to spend all my money building this shit up to fight for niggas. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And I just have one thing to say, like, about what Black was saying about, yeah, I, I get what he's saying. People, It's people out there that don't think like us, that don't give a fuck, and that are here on the internet and on social media and all that shit strictly for the money. But the only my only thing is, okay, if that's the case and that's that's how it is, then that's cool. That's what you want to do. But a lot of these niggas who portray the image of I'm here, I don't give a fuck, I'm just finna keep reporting shit, whatever, whatever, when the shit comes back on them or when they have to answer for the bullshit that they're putting out, instead of them just keeping putting out shit or whatever, whatever, they turn personal and get in their feelings, which means that they actually do give a fuck about what's going on, and they actually do give a fuck about the shit that they're going back and forth with and putting out, and that's contradicting their whole entire platform at the end of the day. And the, the, yeah, the, the problem, nah. the bigger problem is that there's no representation on the yeah, other side. Nah, yeah, but nah, because at the end of the day, you're gonna get in your feelings when it's done to you. Like, I'm just trying to, like, what, I, what I've learned to do, bruh, and this gonna sound like some crazy shit. I've learned to put. But it's a, if it's done, if you get in your feelings when it's done, you don't do that shit to other people. This, Jay, can I say this? I've learned to put myself in other shoes. That is a that is a gift. If you can put yourself in a certain people's shoes and mind state That's where fact. you got the shit master. That's fact. Like, cause I can't expect for you to be solid, cause I'm solid. Right. I got to look at this shit like a fairy tale. What would a sucker do in this moment? Nah, you got to say, yes. what would a broke nigga do? Because Thank you. we going to stand on principle and say, boy, I ain't going to get into that. But if I'm if I'm a young creator coming up and saying, yo, it's probably ain't no chance that I'm going to get a Meek Mill interview or 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 the baby <laughs> interview. But boy, I'm a super fan of them niggas. Right. So I know every look. That's, yeah. trust yeah. me, they, yeah. these niggas, yeah. they go yeah. on that. They yeah. super fans yeah. of these yeah. niggas. Yeah, that's hard right there. So this is that's why hard. they sit back saying, man, I maybe I can't. Done, I, done, I done dissect you. Yeah, but here's the thing the rappers can't spread themselves thin either and touch everybody that got love for them. Yeah. The job ain't to do that. The job is to feed the people that's in position that represents the narrative. Yeah. It's a simple one, too. Where I'm from, if a girl disrespect me, I send a girl. Mm, I see what you're saying. You dig? Oh, they went doing. live on, on Woo De Woo today. Well, guess what? We going live tomorrow to respond to that and clear some of that up. Mm -hmm. Right. You see what I'm saying? Oh, they went live. Oh, we went live again. Mm -hmm. But it's it's not good. We, niggas, we grown men. It's worth money. Just It ain't going to happen. Just You dig? You got to be intentional with this. It's affecting money at this point. You right. Yeah. You, you right. To ignore, listen, the business requires that you respect narratives. I don't care if you're a real nigga or not. Any business. This one in particular, yeah. you rappers, because you live off image. So mm -hmm. anything affecting your image, you got to think. I think, I think, I think too, what I be saying all the time is like, we, a lot of people still look at the culture, like even street music, the culture of it, but it's become a sport. 
So yes. it's the same thing as sports. Right. Right? A nigga can go, Stephen A. Smith can say, I can say whatever I want about how you play. Right. This is my job. But then when so you got Ryan thing. Claw come on after him and say, Stephen A. Smith didn't know what he was talking about. Yeah. Da, 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 da. And the reason why this football player is, right? But you got to dance with the people that brought you to the party. You're right. And these dudes ain't doing nothing for the South or for the people that can speak on their behalf. You right. dig? So that's the problem. It ain't going to stop. 100%. It's not going to stop. These guys got audiences, Reddit, Twitter. It's not going to stop. Right? You got to, to build some armor around it. Period. What you think the biggest, the biggest disconnect is from like in this music, I mean, in this podcast and music industry? What you think the biggest disconnect is? I think disregard narratives. I think that dudes think because they really solid in real life that they can disregard narratives. Ooh. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the, the soil got to respect the weather. You know, Ooh. it's certain things that have to work in concert. And, and I think that um, the disconnect is just not putting, like I just said, you got you just, you got to now have a bulletproof car because dudes are shooting at you. They making a hundred thousand dollars a day. Mm. You know, sitting at five thousand dollars a day attached to shooting at you all day and sitting in the house, mm -hmm. getting fatter and fatter and never coming out. You dig? I'm making sixty grand a day. I ain't had nothing to talk about. Oh, sixty today, sixty tomorrow, sixty the next day, and then the disrespectful part is these niggas' labels are still going spin with these guys. Yeah. Same like same. it's it's layer, bro. It's it's business though. So it, at some point you got to respect. They, yo, they got to spend with something. This is what the audience is. When they say freedom of speech, right? But the, I, guess the, I guess the messed up thing is freedom of speech is also the freedom to tell the truth or tell a lie. Ain't that what it is in America? You can say whatever you, you, say what you say, want to say, yep. whether it's the truth or a lie. That's freedom of speech. That's true. But when you sometimes it seems like you get persecuted more for telling the truth, which is completely messed up. But that's just kind of what it is, freedom of speech. Yeah. And yeah. Can't get around that, bro. That's what it is. And like I say, it's not gonna stop. You gotta look at what's going on across the aisle in politics. Mm. You got Trump at the same time saying things like, yo, I've been indicted several times. The black folks love me. So Lone, let me ask you, why 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 you think it is like some of the artists maybe like I guess the word is uh cautious or fearful of coming to platforms like a it's up there, big facts, or whatever the case may be. Why you think that is? What I think it is 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 it's a little lightweight clout chasing by these guys. So what I say is they're chasing audience, and they it just tells me they don't understand the business. Like I was just speaking to you about the ability to repurpose these podcast interviews. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I'm still seeing big facts and Birdman going crazy still today on mm -hmm. TikTok, right. getting millions of hits on yeah. Twitter, getting me right. It's certain things that's gonna stand out from an interview perspective that you won't get in a stream. But here's the thing. They got somebody in a suit or somebody in a position that's convincing them mm -hmm. to go there, mm -hmm. right? When they should be intentional with marketing their own shit mm -hmm. right. instead of being told where to go. Right. Know? So um, you would just, like we were just saying, they're fearful of offending the people that cut their checks. A lot of artists are fearful of their labels. I wonder why that is though. You got to think about how you got there. And if, especially if they called you to do business with you, that means you got value. So you got to stand on the fact that you got that value and, and not move in fear, in my opinion. In my opinion, I feel like niggas are scared of labels because they don't understand their power and they feel like the labels have the power to turn their lights on and off. Right. And that can be true in some cases too. I think the label, again, has to plug into the infrastructure. Like you were saying, the PR team thing. That's a real, like propaganda for as long as American history has been documented, has been powerful. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? These PR teams that work on behalf of some of these labels, these rap niggas get dropped off the label and don't even know how to get their message out no more. Mm. But while you with the label, that's why you always hit me salute, baby. Because in the midst of being one of the biggest people in the world, he took time to build me up, to come over and fuck with y'all and do whatever he right, do with the people right. he care about and, and see fit like, yo, that's one of them one. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that because so many of these guys sit on their hands and they can be told to go sit with a white streamer who 
Well, we don't even know if the numbers translate, right? Mm -hmm. Again, 100,000 people in a stream click something, it rises in real time. These are real live numbers we're dealing with on YouTube. Mm -hmm. You can literally sit there and see the views go up. You can see someone climb the charts. I just saw a rap dude post, oh, we number seven. Then later on post, we number three. These, these things move in real time. So if you have 100,000 people in here, why can't they move any number on any platform? But they can be convinced to go sit there. And so again, I just think they gotta be more intentional with their business. Yeah. Yeah. Make all the sense in the world. That make all the sense in the world. You think that some people might just look at some platforms and just say like, I know they're gonna get to the bottom of this or that or that or this and I don't feel like dealing with it. You saying basically like a nigga don't wanna come fake it with certain niggas. But know what mm. I'm saying? They know, they know. I, I, can, I see, can go for that. You see what I'm saying? Like I, I like I ain't, I ain't don't sense. feel like keeping it real. I can go over here and do some old right. shit from up to promote my album, but I don't wanna go sit in Front of no real talk niggas about some real shit. That'll be able to yeah. sniff me out. Right. That's some that's yeah. some deep shit though. That's you gotta I, respect that though. You, can, you and I, I was just telling them, and I say it openly, like Rocco's all our brother. But Rocco, just tell you right now, I ain't, I ain't finna do that. Right. He ain't gonna tell you straight no, like nah. but that's it. Yeah, that's what that's I'm saying. Man you gotta respect time. that yeah, though. That's man time. That. You gotta respect. Hell, I'm gonna talk about. Right. Exactly. I'm like, nigga, you, you, <laughs> you Rocco. <laughs> right. Right. You like, nah. I'd rather come when I got some when I wanna. I respect that. And when he pop out, he gonna stop, He cause he hit me. He gonna stop by me, he gonna stop by y'all. And that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Ain't nobody yeah. saying pop out when a nigga call on you. Mm -hmm. It's saying, yo, when you do pop out, make sure you feed the pop people to you. us. Exactly. First. I'm gonna keep it 100. I'm gonna keep it 100. Like a lot of my friends that are big rappers and shit, I can't be mad at them that they had not been on my podcast because, let me tell you why. They ain't been on that. Yeah, that's the thing. That's the difference. Yeah. Like, now I can't be. I can't and take you out of your element. Like, bro, come to be a fat. Fuck you doing, nigga. You. Yeah. 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 But you ain't been on nothing. Yeah. Right. So it's like you know what I'm saying. Forbes call of GQ. Yeah. yeah. Nigga, I respect that, but I ain't seen you on nobody else shit. So I can't feel like I can't take that person. Right. Oh, and and I don't it ain't, know what it ain't. you building. You building some shit to get you some two hundred fifty million dollar, three hundred million dollar. Five hundred million dollar checks, mm -hmm. and I don't know. I don't know what it take to get them kind of checks because I never had one. Right. That's right. So I can't take how I feel. Our friendship should be personally because you never came on my shit. Right. Yeah. But them level, them class of niggas, they out of that picture. They out of this conversation because yeah. it's a certain class of niggas that they do have that fan base and that 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 media footprint with just meme pages and Twitter communities like Pluto. He bulletproof to a lot of this shit. Mm -hmm. Because what happens is when they shoot at him, he got 90 pages that's, yeah, man, didn't he? He one of them ones. Hey, y'all forgot. Hey, he one of them. He one of them. And that, as bad as it sounds, that helps with the narrative. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But the, it's the tier under that that you will see come sit with me. Well, not me, because I don't even require it. But you will see him come sit somewhere and they'll get his low, low level interview and then they pop out next to some of these guys who they've been convinced has this mass following that doesn't translate to them. Yep. Right. And they'll give the exclusive and this and that. And it's like, yo, we're building a business down here in the South. Mm. Right? I, I salute uh, Meek, because every time he speak, he say Wallow and Gilly. He get, that's Philly. That's Philly. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Even if it wasn't Philly, if it was even in that area, he, you dig, but these Southern artists in particular, I'm talking to y'all that's running all around the world, and, and why we got to speak on y'all behalf when y'all drop or being creative in the studio and put it out and it don't hit right. Mm -hmm. and we got to say, give him time. Mm -hmm. Hold on, y'all, for y'all be critical of him. Y'all forgot he got nine classes because they so right now, that won't even matter. Mm. Yeah. You know, so I, I, I think, man, it's, it's a lot of room for growth in this game, especially from, from us down here. Mm -hmm. We way too powerful by ourselves not to be as together and really be moving culture. These interviews really be shaking shit up and moving culture. I'm disappointed. And trust I'm gonna be all right without it. What you, what, what's some shit you can say, like you fought yourself for like getting in your own way and stunning your own growth. You know what I'm saying? 
You know uh -huh. how we all got to take accountability. Like, right. man, if I want to be like this, man, shit, I got to work on. I got to work on this. I got to work on snapping too fast. You know what I'm saying? Like, just whatever. Well, I think what me and you were talking about on the podcast is like, don't let them trick me in the reaction or in my feelings. You know, because I'm going to tell you no. I'm going to tell you I ain't doing it. I'm going to tell you certain like I ain't going to play with nobody because I don't want to be played with. And so when someone playing with me, I got to learn to say, man, they do that in this business, long. This is what they do, brother. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Head down, keep building your shit. You know what I'm saying? They play these games like the passing of the phone numbers and all these little things. I'm uninterested. Because if it don't materialize, if it ain't beneficial, it's artificial. You know what I mean? Because I got to be the person to come out. I know I'm I'm one of the most savviest niggas in the South with a microphone. So any narrative that come out, I can dance with this shit. This is yeah, what I do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We media. These niggas is on the court. You never argue with the referee. Right. You see your coach down there. Come on, man. You, you're doing too much with the call, player. You ain't see he got his hand on his back. You, you, you stay on the court, my nigga. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's it's simple to me, bro. But I guess, you know, I don't know, bro. But hopefully this conversation helps somebody build out and understand. It don't got to be me. I want to be front facing with that. Never got to be long. Mm. Powerful by itself. Mm. I want to be on record saying that because this ain't one of them. This is literally to preserve what little bit of culture we got left that they letting get towed down, in my opinion. Yeah. How you feel about the state of the music? Street music, particularly. I I I don't, I don't really listen to music a lot, bro. You know, I I'm more so listen to books and shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like I always got a book on when I was out there. I got something on. It's just always feeding me. Cause I gotta I gotta communicate. So I gotta be intake. Gotta be high. So every time I crack a mic, I got something I can say. I got you. You see what I'm saying? So, so you kind of you kind of saying I'm just saying you kind of saying that the music, some of it, ain't saying much. That's what you gotta say. Which she I'm not disagreeing. Nothing. I kind of yeah. feel like that too. Yeah. Like, None of that shit ain't saying nothing right. Right. Now. Not for the level that a nigga on, oh, you gonna have to go listen to some R and B, man. Right. Mm. Cause, I, go ahead. Cause you know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna take the question. I can't resonate with that shit. I can't resonate with some shit that ain't making me grow. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So if I'm in a space where I wanna feel lovey dovey, I listen to me some R and B. Now sometimes it's time to put that motherfucker on and let it go now. Oh yeah. But I'm 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 casual now with it. I ain't like I used to be. Every time I'm in a car, some music going. Mm. Now I got yeah. you know podcasts going, mm -hmm. some going. It's just because bro, yeah. What you can't do is get on these mics and keep using the same words. Keep using. Yeah. Them. You yeah. got the. This is money, homie. I come from. I got mine out the pot. Ain't nobody gonna dispute that. Watching this. Mm -hmm. Right. Not nobody. Mm -hmm. Right? So when I'm saying it, bro, this is a blessing. Mm -hmm. I'm taking time with this, my nigga. Mm -hmm. Right? So sometimes I'll wake up and be like, bro, like I gotta, I gotta just sometimes I crack the shit and don't even use it. Mm -hmm. Just you gotta get in that mold. Get comfortable in that mold. Mm -hmm. And you gotta work on it, bro. It's business, it's money. Mm -hmm. Young content creators out there, this is money, bro. You know, 50, 60 racks a day, I just told you. And that's just that's just one dude, bro, that's just like repurposing content on YouTube. Like, you got to know how to... But see, it's, people will take that, and it's, here's some more game. People will take what I said and start implementing that, right? Mm -hmm. Which is good game. Yeah. But it's also layers in that, right? So even when these dudes take this six-hour live stream, there's a there's an art form in how they title this shit. Mm. There's an understanding of SEO to make it rank high in the search results, mm -hmm. right? So it ain't just get a big interview, clip it up, put it out. It's so much more that these guys are so far ahead of, of these rappers understanding, bro. You know, and so I'm telling y'all, this ain't by coincidence that when you Google Meek Mill, that his diss from one of these blogger niggas pop up before his music. Mm. There's a yeah. supreme yeah. understanding yeah. of titling, Man, listen, brother. This shit is deep. Yeah, bro. Deep. It's cold. <laughs> That's some game right there for your ass. Cause it you is. Man. You can type in my name right now. The bullshit come up first. Yeah. Because guess why? When bank upload here, you didn't put no tags in it. Mm. 
He yeah. didn't he didn't have no keywords in the description, keywords in the title. These little niggas can put some bullshit up there, but understand all of that. That we just said, nigga, my content better than yours. Nigga, push up. It ain't that. Like, I'm kicking real shit. That, that shit ain't nothing. It'll make us start to think the streets don't exist on the internet when yep. I know they lying. Yep. When every nigga I bump into got an Instagram. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So they can't convince me the streets ain't on the internet. Yeah. Streets running the internet. No. You know? So, yeah, man. So what's what's what what's one thing you see for yourself? Like next level for yourself. I want a hundred million. Okay. We want two fifty. Yeah. But it's all good money. <laughs> I, I want I want five hundred, but hundred okay. is a hundred is a close start. A good starting yeah. point. And I wanna yeah. be look grounded in my you dig? Yeah. Which one of these niggas done got them in like you know what I'm saying, bro, I don't fuck with you and then. Cause that's where I get that energy that. Somebody done got there and try to play with the well, loan. Well, it's a, it's a, you know, listen, let me also be clear about this. Loan don't reach out. I'm just so saying, like, when that, you run yeah, into a nigga, yeah, tell yeah, you. Yeah, I don't like that. Well. So <laughs> I got a few of these guys, you know, for me, it's unfortunate because, l- let me break this in. I grew up with the no snitching code, right? I'm you saying, so? even from my mother. Nigga, you can call my mama. She going to say he better not tell. They going to kill me. They done scared. When I was coming up, they had my mama them scared that a snitch going to get everybody killed. So I come under that law, right? My job was to not pass that to my children. And I'm going to get to what, what I'm going to get to this. Trust me. My job is to not pass that to my children, but to pass to my children that taking responsibility is the highest form of adulthood. Mm. Right? See, they pass snitching to me. I take snitching and can't get it toxic. That's too toxic. But I got to let him know that taking responsibility and accountability is the highest form of adulthood and manhood. So you stand on what you do, Right? But everything, they done smeared the snitch thing so bad, I got to separate my children from that. Now, repurposing that put me in a position to say, oh, shit, I got a certain kind of mentality to be able to think like, oh, I can kind of, I bump in the, you know, I'm going to let them remain nameless because for me, it, it ain't no value in saying these guys' names. They know when they see me what they done. Reached out to me. Couple of these guys done DM me, called me, like, bro, I wanna get on the show, and then just didn't get on the show. Bank was telling me not to take that away. Right? And I know he probably got that energy. He got this energy now, and I love it. I tell him I love it, where it's like, now nah, I can respect that. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? You say you can't respect somebody. What did they, you did they change their mind? Accountability yeah. and taking responsibility the is highest the highest form. form of adulthood. Why I'm lying to another man about anything, anyway, and man. Well, what, what's the, I, but, I, I'm trying you, to. You expecting you from another man? I'm expecting manhood. But niggas ain't me. That's what's fucking me up. But I, don't, I guess I'm trying to understand what is what is the thrill in DMing one of us and saying, I'm going to come and see you. When you oh, look, okay, I'm let, me, let me say this. Let me say this, Jay. Let me say this. A nigga could see some shit that you do so hard and in the moment just want to salute you and give you your flowers by saying, bro, you hard. I want to fuck with you. Okay. But I cannot be ready to do an interview. And oh. the way you carried it from that point on, like, damn, because I reached out to this nigga and that nigga kind of in the feeling because I ain't ready now. Loom, mad, you know, made a slick diss at a nigga. <laughs> and these whole ass niggas will reach out to you and you hear that. I don't think it's a slick diss. And I ain't said that. But, but I know you ain't, but yeah. I'm just saying. But, but now, a nigga I know you'll be upset. Like, so why put me in that position? How am I putting you in position? I'm saying I want to do it. I ain't saying I'm anything. over here in the kitchen. I ain't bothering nobody. Yeah. You saying wait till you ready for you. Man, you don't eat. You can tell me salute without talking about getting on the show. It's the same. They do it every day. It's the same. It's the same. It's the same, yeah. it's the same like Niggas a Niggas do that every goddamn day. If a nigga hit you, you rap about a future. Nah, that's what you. I did, though. That's what I'm saying. And but but they be so extra out though. So boy, you the motherfucking boy. I'm talking about you. you. But I'm saying if I'm that, treat me like I'm that. 
I'm treating you like I'm that because I'm acknowledging that. Nah, your acknowledgement don't but go if far listen, with me. If you, if you, what if kind you of rap, nigga acknowledge me if, and think it go far? If you rap, I'm in the nigga, business. I don't know these rap, niggas. If you rap and somebody say they're gonna that jump, don't go far if with me. If you rap and somebody say they're gonna jump on your song, what's the time limit for that? Does that mean they gotta do it? Yeah, they want to tell this shit. But hold on too, because I got a lot of people that, that watch me. Let me be clear, because that may come off arrogant. No. I do appreciate people that appreciate what I do. Mm -hmm. I want to be clear with that. We talking about in this business space where they think they can keep either you muzzled or use your voice when they need it. Sure. So my thing is don't utilize me and then don't come fuck with our business. I got you. That's all I'm saying, bro. Like, dudes will see me out, like, you you the truth, you that, you that cool. You supposed to treat everything like what it is, dog. But. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm with you. Tell me. Because don't tell you know me you saying? coming nowhere. What, what you saying. think, Jay? I feel like, okay, so here's my, here's my okay, thing, and here's where I'm at with it. Back. No, <laughs> no, I know Jay <laughs> got some. <laughs> nah, because it's like, it's like a lot of these niggas, a lot of these niggas feel like, they have to make that initial contact to prevent yes! any other, yes, any other Jay, sort of like Jay. anything. Like they feel like right. if you I say it nigga, first, Jay. if I say it first, then you know what yeah. I'm saying? And I put it out there first, yeah. then okay, it's on my time or I really don't even have to do it. I just said it and you know, this right. and that, blah, blah, blah. Right. But the reason that a lot of these niggas don't follow up with those first reach outs and those first contacts is because these niggas be scared of the truth. Yes. Mm. yes. These niggas be scared yes. of the truth and these niggas mm. be scared that the truth is going to come out and they know that when you're a you nigga sit, that'll pull the truth out. Yes, bro. When yeah. you sit with certain people, yeah. it's no, it's no, it's no stopping like it. Paper. It's no stopping yeah, it. Yeah. Like I can pull the wool over these other niggas' right. eyes and I can say what I want to say and yeah. they'll go for it and they'll help me push the bullshit up and you know what I'm saying, all that shit. But certain people, it's not gonna fly. Right. And, and then I'm gonna get in the middle of my interview sitting with these certain people that are gonna pull the truth out of me. I'm gonna get stuck and I'm gonna look stupid. Mm. And a lot of motherfuckers know I'm gonna reach out to you before you feel like I'm hating because I know I should. You know what I'm saying? Some yes. just come over them niggas right then like, bro, keep doing what you're doing. Oh, I'm coming to fuck with you. Niggas will say that just off of, I feel like I have to be because this yeah. is the type of nigga peep fake shit. Yeah, mm -hmm. but that was fake what you done. How you gonna beat me with fake shit thinking right. I peep fake shit? <laughs> right. Yeah. You coming with fake shit to a nigga that peep fake shit. But how is it fake? Yeah. Because a nigga Cause you ain't got, it's, it's hollow. You you know you bullshitting with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know it ain't- But really I'm gonna tell you what these niggas be doing. I'm gonna tell you the word for it. <laughs> nah, this is the actual word <laughs> for what these niggas word. be doing. <laughs> What's the word? They don't be ready to come on in. They be flirting. <laughs> you said flirt. Nigga be flirting to see if I fuck with you. Let me, nigga try to take on the initial, let's start sending each other funny shit in deep. Niggas want to so date. What you, what I don't you, what you saying is, be what, what he's saying is why they go out of town and let them hit it in one night? Because, That's what he's saying. No, because they feeling like that shit is beneficial or to them. Or why lie to somebody? Listen, brother, because it, I'm doing business. I done got three, four, five deals in everybody's face. I don't even got a co-host. I understand this business. I'm not somebody that got nobody reaching out to folks. I don't even know how to do that. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So I'm saying, why? If you see me, you see Bank, you see us, you, you brother, look at me. I'm coming from the darkness. <laughs> Y'all niggas playing with this shit. I'm trying to lead a darkness. Right, yeah. right, right, right. This right. serious to me, oh, man. Oh, Dave Chappelle. <laughs> you know darkness, everybody, darkness. <laughs> but I'm saying, this yeah, serious. But I feel what you're saying, though, because yeah. just like what Black was saying about these niggas flirting and, you know what I'm saying, want to be courted and want to go on dates and shit, bro. <laughs> when you hit me first and you say that you want to come on my platform and you want to do an interview, knowing that you don't have solid intentions of actually doing that, now I feel like I'm a ho. And now see, I'm mad. Exactly. See, see, but y'all in y'all feeling. See, I'm going to tell y'all do. No, I ain't no, 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 got no expectation oh, 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 to a nigga Hold on, hold on. Let me tell you something, bro. I want to hear y'all. Please, Jay. Please. Go ahead. I'm listening, bro. I've been saying this shit forever, bro. Listen. You have. Only way you be the fake nigga it to be faker than them. You but what if you don't want to play that game? Yeah. I, it is what it is. This I, is the game we're in. This yeah. is not the streets that's with what no you calls told more. Me. This is some fake shit. Yeah, that's the so point. So if a nigga tell me, hit me, I know he faking me out. If I see him, I'd be like, hell yeah, bro. Bro, I know you be busy, bro. 
I'm faking it. Oh, you fake ass, no, nigga. No, that's hard. I ain't in my feeling about this. I ain't in my feeling. Shit. Fuck you. Listen, it ain't my feeling. It don't never happen. It don't never got to happen. You know what I'm saying? I can still turn right around to me. Oh, that damn old pussy ass nigga. Right there. I'm going to tell my man. Why you shaking this nigga? Why not? I don't Why not? feel it. Why I not? Guess, because at the end of the day, you, I guess see, so. you see this shit ain't stopping no matter if you come on this shit yeah, or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what I'm doing. Yeah. Nigga, it's, and I'm having big fat, shit show, respect with bank, hiking with bank, linking in, linking us. Hey, man, this shit don't stop because of your interview. Right. Nah. But if you want to play it, okay, cool. Bro, you might not be ready. Nah, fuck that. I'm talking well, about anything. the I'm talking about the business side. Cause again, we talking about the niggas that's popping out. We have niggas got money with niggas. Even in the streets. You only get money with exactly. your niggas or other niggas it, that, that like minded. I don't expect to get no money with these niggas, bro. The shit that we doing, bro, ain't no way in the fuck that niggas in this city or whoever don't feel like, bro, I wanna be a part of that. Cause we doing some huge shit right. with everything we do. But even, just, hold up, but at the end of the day, I'm not in my feeling because I wouldn't, if I was in a position, I would reach out to them niggas. But I can't let you frame this like, I can't let you frame this like feelings because it's business. No, it ain't because it's feelings. Shit happen when niggas is mad. Hold up, but what's, hold up. Brother, shit happen when niggas. Okay, but those are feelings still though. Nah, nah, nah. It's the end of the day. If if a nigga reach out to you and don't pull up on you and what what a problem occur? The problem occur because- Because you feel. No, no, no. The hold problem, on, the problem occurs because we're in a business. We're operating in a business. Oh, 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 I'm finna tell oh, you. Oh, 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 what I'm saying is, okay, the first when he first start bullshitting, what happens after that inside within you? You feel like he playing with you. You feel, feel like as he bullshit. You do feel like he bullshit. You feel those are now, feelings. Right. I'm he not, not saying, saying it's absent of feelings. That's I'm saying, what it is, though. Well, no, no. When you frame it that way, it seems like that it's all feelings. Hold and on. I, no, no, no. It's not. It's all. It's feelings. It first feelings, then it come morals because I got to stand on my morals. My, my feelings become coming from my morals. I can't say it's feelings. Yeah, but, but my feelings but are so, coming from how how, how I am, my so, perspective. So I'm but, kind of but, but, but I feel I think what Luna's trying to say. What, I get what he's saying. So what you're saying about framing it like feelings, because if you're framing it like it's feelings, that's making him seem like he's emotional, like a lady. Exactly. Hold on, but you know exactly. Hold on, the same exactly. time we have to check ourselves. Nah, that ain't no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I'm just being 100. I had to, bro. Please, Listen. let me say this, Loon. Please, let me Go say ahead. this. No matter what we do or how we try to make it seem like or whatever we want to sneer, like at the end of the day, the only reason why a motherfucker have a problem with another motherfucker is because of the way they feel. Not in business. It don't matter. Hold up. It's not no business. No, no contract game inside. Not, yeah, it, it is. See, anymore. that's the thing. No the whole music business. No, no. Said, it's, it's, the whole like, music I, business I, 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 operates I fuck, on. I fuck with both of them. Listen, y'all said. the whole music business operates on this like this barter system. There's not contracts in every facet of this system. But we got to weed out the fake shit. No, so we gotta, I'm saying when it pertains when it pertains to media, we just spoke about how you now have a machine or people who represent a certain narrative that's affecting business. Yes, right on the other side, and they're loud about that. At this time, you need a line of defense here. You have allies in media, but those allies in media are not represented on your rollout. Right. So I'm saying that. Everything in the business operates on a okay, barter okay, system. Okay. I ain't never had a contract you're, you're with right, someone right, who right, has right. came on the show. So, so, listen. You're right. You're right about what you said. Hold on, Jay. Please let me get this shit out because this is gonna help some people. But it ain't. You're fitting. right about what you said. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You're right. You're right about what you're saying. But at the end of the day, when a motherfucker don't do business the proper way, you feel like they should. What happens? No. You feel a way. Yeah, but you mean, you framing yeah. it wrong though. And let me let me say this, go please. Ahead. I don't. Go ahead. Please, yeah, go please. Ahead. please. Go ahead, Jay. So. What Black is saying is all the way correct. Like, okay, it is definitely feelings that cause the issues or whatever. But what I want to say is, is that when you have been, I don't even want to say wronged, but when somebody volunteers some fake shit to you, there's nothing wrong with feeling a way about it. The, the issue- I'm not the, it, No, no, listen, right. let me get Go this ahead. out. Go ahead. The, the problem and the issue comes in where it's nothing wrong with having feelings and it's nothing wrong with feeling away. It's nothing wrong with none of that shit. But the problem comes in when your emotions begin to overpower your exactly. intelligence. Yes, exactly. No and that ain't going to never point. happen. Great right? It's high level point. game being put down. But what will happen yeah. is because I'll go back. Because when your thinking is cloud, too clouded, 
you, when your emotions cloud your thinking to the point where you can't even think straight and all you are thinking about is these emotions, then that's where you fucked but up. Anytime, to me, anytime you get in your feelings, you you putting too many expectations on people. That's my, wrong. My, my initial feelings is... Ain't nobody gonna keep it solid till they keep it solid. But you, you so signed I'm the contract. Never gonna be in my feelings. But you, you done done so but much. But it's, it's human nature to be in your feelings. But right? you done done it so is. much business in this business to 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 not acknowledge the fact that there's an expectation on and an understanding on it on on a. On there's a, an expectation on understanding. Right, yeah. and so like if we if we. I'm telling you that can't nobody come and tell me something and not do it, and then I see them and speak to them and act like that's cool. I don't play the game like well, that. Maybe I should. That, where would you be at though? But that, yeah, well, that's I, what I'm telling yeah, you. Right. Be in but, your but, but, no, no, no. Hold on, if you, hold on, if, hold on, if I did something that went against how you feel. And you see me and you don't speak to me, you're in your feelings. I'm staying away from Paul's and Ivy. How that's Paul's? You think, don't think, know. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me say. You, you don't know. You don't know. You don't you say don't. the nigga walking through the garden in his feelings when he say, well, that ain't no good. Stay on away from that shit. That shit <laughs> spreads and it gets on you and it fucks with you and yeah. you break out yeah. in the hide. Yeah. Right? I'm telling you, when I see one knee, nigga, that's how I'm looking at these niggas. You start itching. Yeah. <laughs> this shit here go crazy. I get to break it out in. So I'm, because I ain't asking for nothing, bro. And then when I'm leaving, where I'm leaving from, put some respect on, on knowing that. Bro, that little nigga look like he might be, and every time I see him, he buys something. Hold up, but hold up, but can a nigga? You know what I'm saying? This is great conversation. I like this for people that's watching. Right. Yeah, Can a nigga, I agree. Like, I'm just saying, I know I'm a Gemini, so I go in and out, right? Mm -hmm. I can tell a nigga I'm going to do some shit for a long ass time and do it on my time. That's just how I am. I don't yes. fuck how a nigga feel about it. Yes, that. that's what I was about to say. Whatever and, nigga and wanna I do, fuck we with can that. do something, we can shoot it out, whatever the fuck a nigga want to do. And guess what? That's how I feel, but I ain't faking you out. Nah, nah. I just ain't ready. It's, Even, and I'm going to be responsive to you. Be like, hey, yeah, bro, I'm going to do That's it. what bro, it I'm is. Just, I ain't ready yet. That's the point. That's the, that's the, that's the, that's, that's, that's the key part. Communication. Communication. Okay. That's what you it saying, is. You saying you're going to do it on <laughs> yeah, your time. Yeah, like, man, real shit, you plan. saying you're going to do it on your time <laughs> and leaving it at, okay, I said I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it on my time. It's basically like saying, fuck me. Oh, you saying that, hey, I'm going to, yes, yes. It you feels bad. I'm going to do it, it might not on my time, good. but I'm it just not, not ready. Good. It's sticky. It's it feels me, nasty. Hey, feels I'm good. not ready. I'm not ready. I'm still going to do it. I got you coming. Yeah. I'm not ready. And Especially if you, shit, but respect you bank, we, you, Jay, you scream this big facts. I'm in up there podcast solidified deals on every aspect of the game, right? <laughs> yeah. So that's one thing. Yeah. But if I'm an up and comer. And you done put that under me. Yeah. You got to think, you my nigga. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. you got to think yeah. what that yeah. means. So they I'm, might, I'm yeah. fighting for them niggas, yeah. homie. Because yeah. yeah. right. I keep saying yeah. it. Uh, I'm going right. right. to strike gold whether yeah. a nigga come shoveling or not. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Pop that shit, nigga. You did? Yeah. So I'm telling you, I'm fighting for the niggas under me. Yeah. Right. That's running yeah. into you niggas that spend such and such on the meet and greet. Yeah. And mm. get back here and show you their podcast or Instagram. And you go to popping that fake shit and yeah. That's facts. That's what I'm talking about. Man. So that's my thing is, again, man of your word. We stand on principle. Mm -hmm. Right? Bro, you know how big I am. Dang, you ain't not. Bank, have you ever seen a nigga next to me? Have you ever seen me somewhere go out? I'm never playing. Ain't nobody under nowhere saying nothing about me. I'm the truth. Right? I'm the truth, truth, truth. So for me, bro, I'm looking at three these times, niggas two, saying, I'm looking at these niggas saying, bro, it's niggas under me that I done lit the way a little bit for. They done figured out, oh, he got with baby, man. Maybe if I can get with, and I know him, I'm a fan of him. I love him. I might get up on him and tell him, man, I remember when you drop and just feed it. You dig, and then you promise him some shit. He go back home, tell his mom. He, I don't know what's going on, yeah, but I'm fighting the for the market. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm fighting for the field oh, under we me. We out of here, babe. Yeah, he got, got, yeah, got his number and everything. Home yeah, just stop asking. Years later, yeah. he get into it with his girl. His girl like, pussy ass nigga, you no. said you was going to have an interview. You ain't even got the interview to Get what, 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 screen, get what, Jay. That would put you in your feelings. Not this nigga ready to crash out. <laughs> I think you got feelings. That Not this nigga ready to crash out. Like, but I'm telling you, us. Am I tripping? Yeah, nah. nah but it ain't going to put us in our feelings. No. Because this shit moving. Yeah. But the young nigga, the little, even not young, the old content create nigga that's 30, 32. 
Just trying to yeah, it's like, yo, man, I, I've been to the penitentiary. We were locked up to get whatever it might be, and you go promise them something and then don't stand on it. I have a little respect for that, brother. Yeah. Stand on yeah. your word. It ain't feelings. It's responsibility, it's expectations. Feeling, it's feeling. We can we can try to yeah. Hold it up. It's we'll we'll agree to get this. Yeah, we'll, we'll it's feelings. We'll because agree to disagree. At the end of the day, what you you that, think? So that's that's you take that shit. Just imagine if you take that shit as fuel. And I'm gonna see the same nigga. And I'm gonna interview this nigga on my bigger. Sometimes platform. you need that shot though. But it's still you need that no shot in the legs, especially yeah. in an oversaturated podcast market, right? So again, if you're not us and you popping out now, it's problems. You trying to get that a they're justified feelings? That's what you're trying to say. I'm saying. Like, I'm saying. I ain't about. in my feelings. Not I, you. I gotta be anybody. clear with that because the internet is weird. Yeah. You're right? right. And you're there's right. narratives that run around. Yeah, you're right. You're I gotta be clear in saying that. So when they clip that, they clip that. No, what I'm saying. Right, okay. clip that part with me saying it ain't feelings. For up and coming, for up and coming nigga, it could be his feelings. Yeah, yeah he exactly. gonna be in his feelings. Because he's, cause it's overly he could be his. Because it's his yeah. passion. Hell yeah. It's his passion. Right now, you just shed light on right. how nigga do a nigga. Exactly. And yeah. try to do a real nigga. Exactly. Try to do a nigga who breath. I don't even really talk to. I wouldn't even talk to a nigga like you regular. For I just got a podcast. You got a name, so I bring you on. But I don't even talk to niggas like you. Comprehend. So that's what I'm on yeah. personally. Like, bro, a nigga that I wouldn't talk to, I don't even want to sit next to these niggas on my sofa. Right. And I told y'all that plenty But how can you play this game in this business? Do y'all struggle with trying to get him to understand that your bank? I think we I think we find a fine line of just balance. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, Man, I just... feel like I'm going to keep it 100, bro. <clears throat> and I've been drinking that wine. I feel good. <laughs> Our best shit is Big Fat Friday. This is only me, Baby J, DJ Screen, Sha Jones, Kodak. That's our crew. Them folk. If you're not the star of your shit, if you live by the guest, you die by the guest. Right. right. You bring a nigga on your shit and he make it, he he the only only way you do numbers, you ain't doing no numbers. Right. Mm -hmm. That's why I built it how I built it. Exactly. You know nigga, it was just you. You yeah. ain't have no guests, it was just you. Nigga, when I right. when I first hit you, like, boy, you hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, it was just you. You was just I ain't even have a guest. You were narrating the game. Nigga. Yeah. yeah. That's what you were doing. You were narrating the game. I had on, seen like three, four interviews. Three, four clips. Right. Then I seen that, that last one. I was like, boy, you going crazy. I don't know which one of what you talking about something. Right. But what I'm saying is, until you become the star of your own shit, that's look, to me, that's looking for a nigga that got down a crutch. Even though we need that, but off the rip, you already got loomed to a point to where, and up there to a point to where, niggas fuck with that. And right. then you're saying, your court fan like, Boy, my boy done got a baby on them motherfucker. Right. They fucked them up. You know up. what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, that nigga yeah. gone. Yeah, yeah. Then you got a core that's going to push you up. Yeah. All they trying to, okay, I pop out with Jay-Z. Big yeah. Bank and Jay-Z <laughs> podcast. And Jay-Z gone next week. Yeah. yeah. That shit ain't yeah. nothing. And he don't even want to repost it. He had no like, shit. he ain't. You know, they yeah. got collaboration. Nigga don't want to do no collab. Yeah, I don't man. like it. Yeah. Nah, nigga. It's business, bro. That's why I keep telling you, bro. Like, it's business. So if it's just like a rap, but I'm telling you, this shit is just like a rap feature. I'm telling you, it's the same but if politics, nigga, the same okay, shit. All right, if a nigga do a verse for a nigga, uh -huh. and the nigga do the video, everything, but then when the shit drop, hold, man, that's just That's different. Well, hold on, when the shit drop, and you can't get the nigga to post it, collab post it, and then. Hey, can I get a paper towel? Should you be in your feelings? No, because if they did the verse on the strength, and if you can't get it clear, if they're on a label and they hit you and you've been hit and I've been hit and say, I want you to do the video. We might say, hey, man, this is what it's going to be for the video. I'm a, I got to go. I'm going to give y'all a prime example of that, right? Pluto. Go ahead with it. Come on with it. Yeah, no, nah, it's like a Pluto, my nigga. Yeah. yeah. He called me. He sent me a song. Bro, you a kid. This. Mm -hmm. Fuck that. Let's do it. Let's drop you a single. 25 squares in the room. He on a hook with yeah, yeah. shit hard as fuck. Yeah. Cool. And we're gonna shoot the video and all this shit. I got this, I got the song, did the verse, shot the video. I mean, got the videos lined up and everything for nine o'clock a.m. shoot time. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga didn't show up till like 2.30. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like 2.33. But get what? I got the whole hood out there. Yeah. We party. I don't give a fuck if this nigga don't come till <laughs> yeah, tomorrow. Nice. Right? That ain't right. that. I don't give a fuck that, if this nigga don't come till yeah. tomorrow. He can come. That's what I was saying. Next you week, you. we still be out here. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, you yeah. called me for a favor and, and get what the nigga said, bro. The lot didn't have, because he say twin Bentleys in the song. Twin Bentleys, yeah, yeah, yeah. The lot didn't have the cars to two to one. Got the car. Whatever. I said, bro, I don't give a fuck what time you come. I ain't even called him. Where you at, bro? And yeah. we at, hey, uh -huh. he, he know like, bro, they got, he probably called his team, like, cause all them was over there. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. no, nah, they over here deep, they waiting on you. What bank ain't said then? No! 
<laughs> he for chilling, man. You know what I'm saying? But see, here's the yeah. difference with that, right? Because the value, number one, even if you paid for for that and they don't do that, I still would argue it's okay, depending on the artist. Somebody like Pluto, you don't get a post with that. Nah, this is. <laughs> <laughs> he said he said a lot, by the way. Yeah. I'm letting nah, you know. Nah, yeah. you don't get yeah, baby now, yeah. yeah, you don't get a post with that. Yeah. That's just that yeah. there. Yeah. Because that hold a certain value no matter mm. what happens. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. You yeah. hear me? These yeah. is legacy acts. Yeah. Yeah. Right. When you get in these buildings, they got a certain thing called a legacy act. What a legacy act is yeah. meaning you generate a certain amount of money just off catalog. Mm -hmm. Right, exactly. You can stop the date and the, the 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 label still is like you good. But some of these guys, uh, a post don't go with that. But for music, the value lives in the audio. And so if that audio is cleared, mm -hmm. that's your money, brother. There you go. They don't never gotta pop out with you or nothing. If you wanna meet, you wanna us, mm -hmm. and you get one of them. You know what to take it and what right. to do. You know how to market. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I think music is different. Interviews is, it's like, bro, and then you got to think, it's, 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 it's totally different landscape, bro. You know what I mean? I look at all this shit the same. I just feel like, to me, everybody <clears throat> got their own ways about them. I don't know what happened last night. I don't know what happened when I felt like you're supposed to do it. I don't know. I don't know, what it, I don't know what's going on in your life. Yeah. If I, if I meet it, just as, like you, Lone, we've been fuck, fucking around with each other. For like two years, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Maybe three. Yeah, longer you know than two. You know what I'm saying? Just on some regular yeah. shit. Yeah. Hey, what's up, bro? You hard, woo, woo. Right. I support you, you support me. Right. That's just what it is. Nigga, all right, we, I just did your shit maybe six months or eight months ago, and you just on Big Fake. Now. Right. Neither one of us in our feeling because we knowing Bro, let's let get this shit. I'm trying to bring you at the best time. You trying to bring me at the best time. This is what it is. But, it, that, yeah. but there's a synergy too, right? So again, there there's a clear disconnect with these guys or these rappers. What happens is when you get to a certain status, some of these people start to have a weird God complex where they, they're, they're quick to just say whatever in the moment and disconnect, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm telling you, we always got synergy. We always, when we see each other, we take some time, whatever it is, it's always, it ain't never, it don't never feel funny because I'm high level nigga. <laughs> yeah. I'm high level nigga, bro, I feel it. You ain't yeah. got to say much, nigga. Mm. I done survived off instinct. Yeah. Mm. So I feel things. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So that's what I mean. When you reach out to me, it's like, I, it almost feel like a trick play. Because mm. you reach out to me and then it's like, whoa, what was that? Damn, I ain't asked no nigga for nothing. When I'm looking in the pot, make sure it lock up right. I'm over the stove, my nigga. I'm hustling every day podcasting. I'm somewhere doing something to do. Don't make me raise my head up. And, and, and you did and like you trying to take me out my game. Yeah, you know and what interrupt saying? what I'm doing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. For some bullshit. It's like, yeah. bro, respect Shift each my other. Mindset yeah. To yeah. Some shit. yeah. Yeah. Now I'm banking on. Nah, and throw get, me off. That would put me in my feelings. I'm just saying, bro. I'm hustling by myself. Bank, you ain't never seen a team with me. Never. You ever. know how serious this never, year. Never in life. You know how serious I got three I've seen deals. This six, seven different times, face to face with nobody. <laughs> I've told you. I walked into this nigga. This nigga at a hotel. Had this shit set up just like this. <laughs> Three, four camera. You know what I'm saying? Nigga. Be, and, and here's the proof. Here, here's, Doing the whole thing. Yeah, and here, here's the killer part. Action. <laughs> right. Here's the killer part to let you know I had to come in, like I said, I come in because now I'm cashing in. So if anybody had something to do with it or funded it or was involved in any way. They won't there. This is the time to be here. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So for me, you got to know, bro, this is this is real life. Yeah. I'm telling you, I understand the business. Yeah. Whether they take what I'm saying and view it as me being, I'm telling you, brother, we use each other. And there is cogs in this space where media can stand out and provide a narrative that, that helps business when this other narratives are attacking business. That's, facts. That's all, my main point is, Again, if a girl disrespect me, I got a girl for her. Yo, Jay. What's happening? So, yeah. I can't do nothing with no girl. Why the fuck is the rappers arguing with the media? The media mm. handles the narrative side of things. You handle the, the music side of things. Yeah. 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 That's what it is. Yeah. You're absolutely 110%. Correct. Gotta come back, bro. We do. Yeah. Like I said, we do Big Fat Friday, man. Yeah, we We got one seat open. Love you in the city. We want you to come up. Never, bro. Yeah, never. You know. Yeah. It.
Absolutely. We appreciate the gems. We appreciate the conversation, man. You're welcome yes, anytime. Yes, Let Lord. everybody know where they can tap in and check you out at. Uh, F-O-G-F-O underscore Looney on Instagram. Um, if you support me, you need to head to patreon.com. It's up that podcast. That's something else I didn't get into with y'all. That's a whole nother. That's a Patreon. whole nother money. Yeah, we're going to chop it about that. Yeah, so um, patreon.com and sub that podcast. Exclusive content is there. Well, it's just me and the camera. My interviews go on YouTube. That's where we serve the, the mass audience at. And mm-hmm. we keep that niche um, behind a paywall. And so for those of you that want to join the Discord, want to be in my community, because again, I just said, we got to build the communities. It, ain't, it is no longer enough yeah. just to have a podcast. Mm-hmm. You need a big facts community of Reddit or this. We got to build community. So right. for those out there, join the community. We hiring, we paying good. Um, and it's yeah. tricks to the trade. So y'all, y'all be alert and be aware. Big shouts out to Loon. It's up there. Podcast meets Big no, Facts bro. today. www.bigfactspod.com. <laughs> Subscribe, like, comment on the Big Facts Network too. Salute. Salute. Yeah.